Depending on whether you use the word glory, I thought this was interesting. Guess how many words James, under the inspiration of God the Holy Spirit, spoke to the poor people? Three. Guess how many words he spoke to the rich? Forty-nine. Guess who's rich here this morning? All of us. Some are richer than others, but all of us are rich. We've got homes, we've got food. There's nobody here hungry. God's been good to you. You already probably have your plans for lunch. The question is not can you eat. The question is what are you going to eat. The question may be where are you going to eat. But we've got something to eat. It's amazing you find the same quote but with different words. Listen to it in Isaiah. Listen to Isaiah. The voice said cry out. And he said what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. And all its loveliness is like the flower of the field. The grass withers. The flower fades. Listen to this. Why is that? Because the breath of the Lord blows on it. The same breath that blowed on me one day and gave me life one day will blow on me and take me to heaven. No wonder the songwriter said I'll fly away. You will be flying when God blows on you. Surely the people are grass. That's what the Bible says. The people are grass. And the grass withers, the flower fades. But the word of God abides forever. Here's one thing Adrian Rogers taught me. He said, never forget it. Listen to these statements. The worker dies, but the word abides. Every time you find this text, it's in the context of the word of God. It says, but the word of the Lord endures forever. So what he's saying is instead of building your life around temporal humanity, build your life on the eternal counsel of Almighty God. He says in Simon Peter, take a fisherman, take a prophet. Simon Peter says, because all flesh is as grass, not part of us, all of us. All the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withers, its flower falls away, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word by which the gospel was preached.